guys I don't know what's going on with this car just keep cutting out and don't want to start again I think the start of motor is blocking the road everywhere we have to do something about this I'm not having fun today Ford Mother being that entry to hot run see what we're going through guys she's stopping the middle of the road are we gonna to about to get a push from somebody blocking traffic everywhere we have some problem with the Ford Mother B 1932 hot rod we have some problem with the restart when the car get hot it just don't want to start up we have to wait till it cool down before she fired up so we're thinking okay we need to go ahead and maybe change the starter so it's a G50 Chevy engine and uh, I think all of these engines, they start to play up at times. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is try to put a mini starter in there. And we're gonna try to wrap the exhaust over that side to keep it cool. So stick with us, we'll show you what's popping, all right? So if you have a problem like this, then you know right away, change the starter motor, that's the problem. They do run hot, and once they get hot, they're just no good anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and change it and put a mini starter motor in it, all right? See how small this one is? This is called a mini starter, so it's, it's more it's smaller than the, uh, the other one. So we're just gonna see what we can do with this one. There she is. So if you have a Chevy, G50 Chevy, and your starter, you, you park the car up, and then you go back to start it, and it's just, you turn the key, and there's nothing coming from it, and you know it's the starter motor. They do run hot, because once it's cooled down, it start right up again it's just it's, it's crazy but anyway it is what it is at least we know what was the problem we we'll just go ahead and buy a mini starter and hopefully we can get it started today all right yeah so tony's on it everything is american size so i think he's looking for that the right um tool to open it right now here, here it is See how chunky that one is. So we're gonna take that out, put a mini one in. Hopefully we don't have to drop the exhaust system. But it's kinda in the way, but we'll see. This video help you like and subscribe. Still hot. Okay, it's coming out. It's, it's a big one. Okay, so the starter is out. We need to put the mini starter in now and we're up and running. Then we're gonna wrap the exhaust so we need to take this out first. So we can slow the heat down. Too much heat is getting to the starter. We have to do something about that today. America size nuts and bolts are all different so we're struggling to find a tool to work on it but we get doing the video in today guys that's what we're gonna do to wrap it is that the kit I'm gonna use that to wrap it wrap the exhaust keep it cool and the straps Is it lining up at the right spot, you reckon? Mini starter. You want me to hold it light for you? Hmm? 
<laughs> Será que Dachi. Oh wow. Clever. That one first. start to rain just need to connect the wires and we're gonna go ahead and wrap the exhaust right here we're gonna take it off from here and just wrap the top bit there so hopefully we can just keep it cool maybe we can wrap the exhaust down here as well maybe up to here just to keep the, the heat down so we don't cook the, the starter but we got mini starter and hopefully the mini starter will be better than the big bulky one but that's what everybody says so let's try it out It's connecting the wires now. Should be up and running. All right, it was a bit tricky, as the mini 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 starter is a little bit different. We have to do a lot of changes, but at least it's done now. It's running. Yeah, so we done the starter motor, put a brand new starter motor in it. And we, as we're here, we might as well just go ahead and wrap the exhaust manifold at the same time. And that will save us from um, from getting hot. The starter motor is getting hot, so we're trying to protect it. So, main man is on the job right here, and it's getting done. One of my favorite place to go to when I'm in the area. Hopefully that will stop us from cooking or start a motor. These Chevy engine are known for that. They're a nightmare. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up and we'll show you guys when it's done. Over and out. We've been wrapping the manifold because it's getting too hot and it's just killing all the starter motor that we're putting it. Just cooking them all the time. Because I don't think this engine bay was designed to take this big 350 Chevy that we got in there. So you see we broke down today and we came here today and we put a new starter motor and at the same time we're wrapping the manifold and just see how that how that goes it is what it is we're just trying to sort the problem out no one know we're just doing stuff that we think we can do to make it work so have a look for yourself guys so this is what we've done we got some wrapper home i was thinking about wrapping this badass wet and we just put them on now so hopefully that will help but this is not the main side. We're gonna go over here to the main side. This is the side where the start motor is at. That's the start motor down here. So we're thinking all of this heat from the manifold is just going down on the start motor. And it's just cooking it. So hopefully now it should stay um stay a bit cooler. And hopefully we get more life out of the starter motor. And Chevy Chevy engine. They're knowing for the starter motor to play up because this car it'll stop on the road and it won't start but then after half an hour 45 minutes you go back in there once you cool down crank it over and it start one time so hopefully this solve our problem guys yeah so anybody's having this problem out there with your 350 chevy or your chevy engine whatever you got 
and you start a motor is on and off, on and off, then you know what the problem is. Yeah, so and what we did as well, we go and put a mini starter motor in this. So we take out the big one and we put a mini starter motor. It's more sharper and it's got the crank, and it's just a more better starter motor, I think. So we're gonna take it for a test run and we're just gonna have some fun. All right, it's your boy Stars, Stars Project. Like and subscribe if you like what we do here. And we're here, another video. All right, stay tuned. Make these videos for you guys. Over and out. Mad Machine. See, that's why I love these classic cars. You know what I mean, look at that. Dope. All day, every day.